dear students welcome back so again in this video we are going to discuss three interesting problems in physics look at this problem the electric field at a distance of 20 cm from a uniformly charged non conducting sphere okay non conducting sphere of radius 10 cm is 100 volt per meter adu or exterior point where the electric field is 100 volts per meter the electric field at a distance of 4 cm that is an interior point from the center of the sphere is okay let us solve this problem so you all know in the case of a conducting sphere the charge ca charge cannot lie inside in the case of a conducting sphere the charge will reside only on the outer circumference so charge cannot lie inside the metal it will lie only on the outer surface in the case of a conducting sphere but here the problem given is a non-conducting sphere. The non-conducting sphere may be a sphere of plastic which has ions uniformly distributed. So this has got charges everywhere uniformly distributed in the entire volume of the sphere. The radius of the sphere is 10 cm and we are at a distance of 20 cm away from the radius. We are here. The electric field value is given. At the exterior point, it is 100 volt per meter, it is given. And what is asked is, inside the sphere, a point A, which is at a distance of 4 cm from the center, what is the electric field at the point A? That is the question. Very simple, easy method to do this kind of a difficult problem is, you should recall the graph, the graph between distance versus electric field so this graph will be like this from the center till the surface electric field will be uniformly increasing and thereafter it will be decreasing when you go to infinity it will become zero it goes like this why it is going like this is because in this region that is inside the sphere the electric field is given by this formula rho r by 3 epsilon naught I can say the electric field in this region is proportional to distance in this region the electric field is given by the formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square so I can say the electric field is inversely proportional to r square so this is the idea with which you have to do this problem so here a point outside it is given as a 20 centimeter the electric field is 100 the surface is 10 centimeter here the distance decreases by 2 therefore r decreases by 2 therefore electric field will increase by 4 you understand electric field will increase by 4 here it will be 400 inversely proportional to the square of the distance okay now we are coming to the point a the a is at a distance of 4 centimeter what is the electric field here that is what we want okay when the distance r is 0 the electric field is 0 when the distance is 4 i want to know how much is the electric field when the distance is 10 centimeter the electric field is 400 okay so it is a straight line linearly therefore this electric field how much it will be it will be 400 into 4 divided by 10 it is proportional to the distance distance is 4 divided by uh, the electric field at the surface is radius is 10 so divide by this electric field is e equal to the electric field at the surface into small r by capital r like that i am doing it so now the answer is 160 volt per meter therefore the answer for this problem is first option 160 volt per meter okay now we are going to another interesting problem the capacitance of a spherical capacitor if the inner radius is 6 centimeter and the outer radius is 9 centimeter is Okay, listen. Now, parallel plate capacitor, you know, one plate we give positive charge. The other plate, 
will have negative charges induced electrostatic induction the opposite side of the second plate you will connect to earth similarly to make a spherical capacitor so the inside sphere is given positive charge the outer sphere is here the inner surface will gain negative charge due to electrostatic induction the outer surface will be connected to earth the capacitance is actually charged by potential if you take a simple sphere you know for a simple sphere solid sphere what is the capacitance the potential for a solid sphere is one potential at the surface is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r so you take this 4 pi epsilon naught r to the other side you will get q by v this is capacitance q by v is capacitance so you get this formula for full solid now this is a spherical shell what is the potential at this surface the potential on this will be equal to zero because connected to earth what is the potential on the sphere here the potential is because of the positive charge the potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r1 the inner radius is r1 the charge given is q equal charge and opposite sign will be induced on the outer that will give negative potential 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r2 at this point therefore you can take out common q by 4 pi epsilon naught you will have 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 simplify this so you will have r2 minus r1 by r1 r2 take this to this side so you will have this 4 pi epsilon naught r1 r2 by r2 minus r1 i bring this 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 side so what is remaining q and then divided by v and you know what is q by v it is capacitance so we have got the formula for calculating the capacitance of a spherical capacitor so let us calculate 4 pi epsilon naught is 1 by 9 into 10 power 9 because you know 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 power 9 what is the inner radius given 6 centimeter r1 outer radius 9 centimeter what is the difference 9 minus 6 is 3 centimeter okay now let us cancel whatever is possible so 9 and 9 is cancelled here 2 is uh, you get 2 and uh, here 10 power minus 2 is cancelled though this comes up 2 into 10 power minus 11 farad is the answer do we have the answer here yes the third option is the correct answer okay now let us move on to the next question of this video look at this what is this arrangement some arrangement of plates which is going to give you capacitance isn't it all the plates are having equal area yeah. they are equally separated the place separate separation is given as d the question is what is the capacitance between p and q okay listen p is connected to plate 2 p is connected to plate 2 so I redraw it like this. P is connected to plate 2. 2 and 1. Between 2 and 1, there is a capacitance. If you give positive charge here, negative charge will come here. Uh, this 2 and 1 will form a capacitance. And also 2 and 3 will form a capacitor. So, plate 2 makes a capacitor with 1. Plate 2 makes a capacitor with 3. You understand? Plate 2 is connected to P. Okay. 2 and 1 makes a capacitance and 2 and 3 it makes another parallel plate capacitor this is negative and this is connected here this is also negative it is like that it comes and then q is connected to 4 okay q is connected to 4 and 4 and 3 makes a capacitor 4 and 3 it makes a capacitor so this is equivalent to this all the three are identical because the distance between the plates is same the area of the plates is also same so if i say this is equal to c this is also c this is also c and these two are in parallel therefore i get parallel 2c cp is equal to c1 plus c2 2c this is c here and you know these two are in series 
and therefore 1 by c effective is 1 by 2c uh, plus 1 by c which is equal to c plus 2c 3c divided by 2c square which is which comes to 3 by 2c take the reciprocal of this the effective one is 2c by 3 also i tell you to do this kind of uh, series connection faster what you do is c effective is product by sum okay you remember product by sum what is the product 2 c square what is the sum 3 c so quickly you will get this answer you can save time so effective capacitance is this okay then one each capacitor is epsilon naught a by d isn't it therefore the answer for this is 2 by 3 epsilon naught a by d which is in the option d thank you for watching students i'll meet you in the next video